So now in this question, it says we have a five gram sample of aluminum and we have a 10 gram sample of iron and we're given the specific heat of both of them and we're gonna heat that up to 100 degrees Celsius and we're gonna take both the aluminum and the iron and we're gonna put it into 95.7 grams of water. That's gonna be at a temperature of 24.9 degrees Celsius. And the question wants to know what the final temperature is gonna be of the aluminum, the iron, and of the water. Now, this involves a heat transfer and we're gonna transfer heat from the aluminum and the iron to the water. And so they're all gonna have the same final temperature at equilibrium. And so what I like to do for these types of questions is I like to make a picture. And in this picture, I'm gonna put a beaker right here and this beaker is gonna be of the water. And so I'm gonna fill this up with water like this. And the reason why I like doing pictures like this is because it helps me keep track of, um, of all the different um, numbers that are a part of this question. And so because it says I have 95.7 grams of water, I'm gonna put 95.7 grams right here of the water. And the initial temperature is gonna be this 24.9 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna put the temperature initial is gonna be equal to 24.9 degrees Celsius. And, um, and for the aluminum right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this aluminum and that's gonna be five grams and I'm gonna put that right here. So I'll have the aluminum here. So that's gonna be AL and, um, and that's gonna be five grams. So I'm gonna put five grams here. And, um, and the specific heat of that is gonna be 0.89. So I'm gonna put this C value for this is gonna be equal to 0.89. And um, the initial temperature is gonna be 100 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna put T initial is gonna be equal to 100 degrees Celsius. And, um, and now I'm gonna do the uh, same thing for the iron. Now for the iron right here, I'm gonna do that in yellow and that's gonna be 10 grams. So I'm gonna put a, um, a picture of the iron like this. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be Fe like that. And this is gonna be 10 grams here. And, um, and the specific key of this is gonna be this number right here, this 0.45. So C is equal to 0.45. And um, the initial temperature of this it's gonna be the same as the aluminum. That's gonna be equal to 100 degrees um, Celsius. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the aluminum and the iron and we're gonna put it right here into the water. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this right here and put it in here. And I'm gonna take this right here and put that in there like that. And, um, and what this does is it allows me to focus in on um, the transfer of heat of, of the hot one uh, to the cold one. And so there's the aluminum and then there is the, um, the iron like that. And now I got 100 degrees Celsius here and I have 24.9 degrees Celsius here. And so the transfer of heat is always gonna go from hot to cold. And so I'm gonna do an arrow from the iron to the water and I'm gonna make an arrow from the aluminum to the water like that. And so these arrows right there, those represent the flow of heat. Now, if the, um, if the aluminum and the iron are giving away heat, um, that's gonna be a negative Q. And if the water is gonna absorb that heat, that's gonna be a positive Q. And so what we have to do is, we're gonna have to write an equation that, um, that says that. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna say that I have an equation that looks like this. I'm gonna say that I have the, the Q here, and the Q is the heat of the aluminum. If I take that value and I add it to the value of the, um, the Q or the heat of the iron like this, um, those two values are gonna give heat to the water and that's gonna be a Q here of the water. Now, because the, the aluminum and the iron are both gonna give away heat, they are going to lose heat. So these are going to lose heat and the water over here is going to gain heat. So we have to keep track of what is gaining heat and what is losing heat. And because these right here are losing heat, I'm gonna make this a negative right there. And, um, and you could think of this kind of like, um, if I was in your room and I had $100 in my pocket, and then I left your room and then I had $90 in my pocket, that would mean that I lost uh, $10. And so if I lose $10, it would mean that you would gain $10. So the amount of heat that, that the aluminum and the iron are able to lose is the same amount of heat that the water over here is able to gain. And so that's what this equation right here says. Now there's no reaction that's gonna occur between the aluminum, iron, or the water. 
um, one is just going to warm up and the other one's going to cool down. And so the aluminum and the iron, those are both going to cool down and the water is going to warm up. And the warming and cooling equation is this. The warming and uh, cooling equation is Q is equal to MC delta T. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that the, the Q for the aluminum right here is going to be M or the mass of the aluminum um, times the C of the aluminum times the change in temperature of the aluminum. And if we take that value there and we add that to the mass of the, um, of the iron here and times the C of the iron here and that's going to be times the change in temperature of the iron right here. And we'll take that value there and add it to this. And, um, and that's going to be equal to the, the heat of the, um, of the water that's going to be gained. So that's going to be the mass of the water times the C of the water times the change in temperature of the water. Now, they didn't give us the, the C of the water. But you need to know that the, um, the specific heat of the water is going to be 4.186. And that's going to be units of joules per gram per degree Celsius. So the same um, units as the specific heat of the, of the aluminum and of the iron. They got this joules uh, per Celsius per gram for both of them. And so this is the overall equation that we're going to do. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead and put all these numbers um, in here. And then I'll explain what I did um, um, after I do um, a lot of the math part. And so now that I got all the math worked out to solve for the final temperature, what I did was I multiplied these two numbers together and then I multiply these two numbers together and then I distributed this number to the final temperature here and to this negative 100 here and then I distributed this 4.5 to the final temperature there and to that negative 100 there and after I did that I combined like terms um, with this right here and that gave me this and then I distribute the negative to this and to this right here and um, and after I did that I I got the T final on one side of the um, equation like this and I got my number over here on this other side and now that I go and solve this for T final I'll just divide this um, negative 409.5502 uh, to both sides and then I'm going to get that the final temperature is going to be equal to 26.5 degrees Celsius. And this right here will be the equilibrium um, temperature of the aluminum, the iron, and the water.